Welcome back to Dream and Disc <coughs> to Dream and Disc Gaming. Dream and Tears playing more Symphony of War, Nephilim Saga. Still getting over being sick, as you can tell. Um, but we've got we got stuff to do today. Chapter twenty three: Unwise Alliance. Uh, but first things first, we have fourteen things of knowledge tech to use so um kind of want to use some of these i'm tempted to kind of see what we can do here i mean we won't really use the artillery artillery yet like that so um i mean that's kind of cool A little bit of healing every turn. Proves most of the special tactics, which <laughs> we use so often, right? <clears throat> when engaging close range battles for each allied squad adjacent to the target enemy. I mean, that's nice. The third artifact is also nice now. It's like three, six, nine, twelve. We could do three, six, nine, and then open up whatever this is. Um, I really want to see what what we get out of here. Dragoons are now light cavalry. That seems good. Extra flanking also seems very good. I think we'll just do this and increase the tactics. Do we not have everything unlocked here? Oh, no, we don't. Plus three weapon power for each unit of different type in a squad. All right, I guess we'll get that one too. Now we've unlocked these. All squads in the army gain plus 10 capacity limit. Well, that was a nice one to find. <laughs> That'll be great. Uh, new constructs start with mastery of all available tier one classes, start with plus three levels, and with full loyalty. Um, both of those are very nice. Okay. Wow. Um, but also our dragoons being light cavalry, does that change anything? Does it change like Cloud Render Squad? No. And it's not Cloud Render Squad anymore, it's Beatrix's squad, isn't it? No, it's still Cloud Render. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. If I were to remove Tobias, does it do anything? No. Okay. So we will um, add Tobias back. Okay, and we're gonna get right into that deploy now. Ezram, Fortress City in Western Sayuna. Everyone is in place, right? Yes. Even so, we are taking great risk coming here. Jules, Narima, I'm counting on you to coordinate the strike if needed. You know these lands better than anyone. We'll be watching every moment, Draymond. Please be careful. Jules, please wait. Yeah? This is the homeland of our people. They will not look highly on you and I, and I cooperating with Viridians. Please do not put yourself in danger in this mission. Well, is it really that bad? You'll just have to trust me. Call me for assistance for any reason. Come, let us get into position. <clears throat> Ah, Draymond of the Nephilim army. You have become quite the problem for the Viridians, you know. Prime Minister Cyrus, at your service. Thank you for agreeing to meet with us. We have much to discuss. We understand that your nation has been subdued by the empire of Arcalis. Subdued? Aha. Yeah. 
in that we move our armies at their whim, yes. But as you can see, we still have our culture. Our children are not being torn from their parents. Our icons and our temples remain standing. One cannot say the same for the rest of the world. Do you expect us to give up that protection for a chance to become independent again? Prime Minister, this alliance is a sham. They'll come for your temples, your culture, and your children eventually. You've got to take that chance, Cyrus. It's the only smart way to go. Is that so? And what makes you different? You've come here armed for battle. Are we simply to trust yet another Viridian that they will not come as conquerors? No, Druid. We are not as helpless as you think. They say Onari people have endured for thousands of years and we will for another. Kill them both. Well. They have fallen under the magic of Xanatus. They're going to regret that. <clears throat> I agree. They will regret it. Okay. A deployment of... Tw wow, jeez. Okay, who do we have? Oh, Jules down here. Makes sense. Alright, let's... Mission info. Survive for six turns or destroy all enemy squads. Okay. We probably want, um, like, Cloud Render down here, and then maybe on this side, Rolant. Because he gets the um, healing every turn. Both would be good with Jewels. Um, where else can we... Two, three, four... Um, yeah, like Abigail, Barnabas, um, Ephraim, Beatrix, uh, Rascuja here can come down and get that guy, maybe... Stefan can do that over here to this guy. And then we get what? One one more squad. Um, who should it be? Lysander, probably. Yeah. Lysander or Yarm, you're probably Lysander. Let's do that. Okay. Let's try this out then. So, first off, Cloud Render, just come in here and just start. Blasting people. And then I would like um, Jules to just get in behind and also blast them because they are pikemen. Then you guys can just basically take out all these archers. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and I think waiting right there is good, because you're on... Only one person can get in. Raskuja can take these guys out. These girls out. Nice. We have Narima with you. Beatrix can come over here. Nice, huge. Honestly, I think we just start. Whoa, she's huge. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> that was cool. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> we haven't used her <laughs> since we did that. That was kind of cool. <coughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Abigail can just go right here and just blast. Ephraim, same kind of thing. You can just stay right here and just blast these guys. Draymond can come in here and wipe out this squad. Yep, they've been wiped out. We'll wait. Um, that seems like a great spot to drop a meteor, because there's four of them. Teleport anyone? I don't think so. No, who did? Oh, we didn't move Lysander. Yeah, we'll just move you down. Sure, there. Why not? Whoops. Didn't mean to shuffle, but we did. Yeah. Nothing's happening to us here. <laughs> I'm surprised they survived. Nice. Basically trying to keep jewels alive down here as much as we can. Nice. All right, a little bit of healing. Okay. You can actually get all the way down here to blast these guys. So we'll do that. Nice. Kind of want to just come back a little bit here. Can hit these guys. Yeah, that's pretty good. Honestly, I think we could just... We could teleport Diane right here to come help out with this. Um, yeah. That doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. That way or that way? I don't think it matters. <laughs> stomp, stomp. It's fantastic. Uh... Alright, we'll attack into this guy, I think. Might be easier, I don't know. And then just drop back. Yeah, Jules can take out <clears throat> this one, and then Cloud Render can push forward. Nice. 
There we go. Um, Ephraim. Nice. Uh, and then we can use our powers of meteors to blast all these guys again. Just nice and softened up. Yeah, you can go that way. Um, we could get Beatrix to go again. Yeah, you know what? That doesn't hurt. There we go. And then Stefan can come down that way. Abigail can go that way. Draymond can come that way. There we go. Nice. Yeah, see, this is fine. Very, very fine. Perfect. Oh, that is very surprising that they took one out. Proof of merit. Nice. Roast beef of might. Also very nice. Okay. Um... I do want to send you down here. Jules can come over here and start blasting away at this guy. Nice. Um, yeah, I think we just do this to blast. Nice. Barnabas can't quite reach them. It's very close. Lysander can go that way. Abigail can come down. Draymond here. Um, Ephraim that away. Can send Cloud Render this way to start blasting. It's probably good to get rid of those mages. Um, powers. Probably want to exemplar you just so that they can't get in to jewels. Yeah. We'll just let them attack us, basically. And then these guys are kind of all stuck right there, which is kind of nice. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that means Diana can come up this way. Trait disarm. 
very nice. We're going to attack in here with a bunch of dragons. Elegant blade. We're going to attack in behind. Nice. Move forward. Attack in from this side. There we go. We're going to attack that guy. Perfect. We're going to strike down this one a bit. Nice, no healer anymore. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Can't quite reach there, so we will teleport Lysander here and hope for the best. Oh, come on. We might not get that one treasure. Oh, we will. Okay, good. Turn five. Perfect. Treasure. And that one's just a ton of cash. Take him out, Diana. All right, Jules is not defeated. Some surrenders, bounties, rank S, nice. <clears throat> An unfortunate war now rages between the Nephil army and Sayuna. It is clear that only complete submission of the current regime will put an end to the struggle and liberate the Sayuarni people. Now that the Nephilim army controls Ezram, they face two threats, the Sayun army from the east and the Imperial reinforcements from the west. Great. Not exactly what we were hoping for. Uh, well, let's have these come. Holy moly. All right. We have lots of people. Sybil and Abigail. Woo, yeah. Take that and that and that. Pow, right in the kisser. <coughs> Sister Sybil, your enthusiasm is infectious. Although I do not share joy for warfare, I can at least appreciate yours. Hey, Abby. I mean, Sister Abby. Careful, almost whacked you there. I do believe you were advised to temper your lust for battle, were you not? Uh, yes, fine, fine. Ha, I jest, Sister Sybil. I will not tell anyone. I knew it. You were, you were something special, Abby. Well, um, I just wanted to bring up something with you. While I think we both understand that your initiation as a paladin was of the ordinary, it does make sense. These are truly scarce times, and well... Yeah? Come on, spit it out, pint-sized. Well, I do not have a bonded of my own like Sister Adelia. Do you think? You mean you and me become blood sisters? Let me think. Of course, you know, scarce time and all. Let's show the world what the spirit of the temple can do, Abby. Oh, it was that easy? Then I shall inform Diana and we will make it official. My heart is soaring, Sister Sybil, and I hope I am adequate as your blood sister. Etiquette, shh, we're gonna light up the world. Interesting. To become blood sisters, Abigail will cost half capacity in civil squad, and vice versa. Interesting. <coughs> hey there, so I wonder if I ask what it's like now that you can, uh, you know, now that I can... Oh, come on, you know, become the giant lady. Oh, well, I am the giant lady. I can shrink back to this form when be... Being full-sized is impractical. Oh? 
Yep, let's keep that between us for a while, would you? Of course, though I think they'll catch on pretty soon, seeing as several days of food and entire livestock herds are suddenly gone. Any idea where it all went? In my stomach. Well, part of my muscles by now. Hell's bells. He thinks all creation will end up in there. Say, do you think when my time comes, I'll also turn into a godlike being? Hmm, St. Landis was a master of illusion. Maybe you'll gain the power of invisibility. Forever. That was lovely. <laughs> Surely a just and loving donar would never deprive the world of my breathtaking visage. <laughs> oh. Some of these are great. Welcome to Ezram Jewels. Yeah, wow, Narima. I have to admit, I didn't expect it to look like this. Everything looks kind of new. The stories I've heard tell of ancient cities. Your perception serves you well, for this city is, for all purposes, only a generation older than we are. Its former glorious form date, dated back thousands of years. But the Viridians saw fit to destroy that which they could not have, to wipe an icon of the past off the timeline of this world. Well-dressed barbarians, they are. How did the Viridians cause so much destruction? The Ethereum Crisis, you may have heard tales of this events from the Viridians. That a Siarni princess named Soha of Dargon, whose beauty def defied description, whose magical gift grew out of control, that she became a terrible archvillain. From the Siarni perspective, the conflict was provoked entirely by the Viridians, who made us made use of a power they did not understand and did not deserve to wield. In a great war between the Empire of Viridia and all the world's nations, Ezram was utterly destroyed by a nightmarish weapon they developed in a bid to subdue us. Tens of thousands of our people perished in an instant. Of course, even then, we say Ernie per persevered to win that war. Ezram was rebuilt some 50 years ago, within, when the Ethereum Crisis's curse finally subsided. Well, that's an accomplishment, don't you think? Jules, this is something you must understand well. Our people do not value the same thing Viridians do. While Ezram now stands greater than its former self in many ways, a vital part of our national spirit was lost forever. Ezram, as it should be, stands only in memories that, too, will fade away in time. Thank you, Narima. It seems I've much learned about my homeland. Alright. Narima and Yaromir. I don't know if I survive this heat, I shall never forsake the tundra again as long as I live. <coughs> Perhaps you should, your kind would do well to listen to your body. That is Donar telling you not to be where you don't belong. Perhaps it, it is Sayunari. But for the return of Donar, no amount of suffering would dissuade me from this great holy war. I believe you. This is no small feat, Viridian. <laughs> well then. I'll accomplish something this day, even if the desert takes me. Of course, you are a Highlander, aren't you, Yarmir? That is an ancient distinction. I'm a servant of Donar first, and a Viridian second. The people of my duchy do indeed trace their roots to the Felnanian... Felnamia Highlanders. Centuries of integration has all but erased that part of our past. I see. Regardless, you are the shield of the north, the iron wall behind which the Midlanders sleep soundly, just as they do due to the existence of my nation, a shield against the endless wastes to the east. Tell me, Highlander, do you think would happen to the Midlanders if our two peoples did not exist? Crumble to the dust at the first instance of difficulty, no doubt. <laughs> ha, even if you hear me, it's not needed at this time. Thank you for your fellowship, Highlander. May the bulwarks of the snow and sand never perish. And Abigail and Diane. Hello, dear sister Diana. Greetings, sister Abigail. Any luck, any luck with Nibbler? Oh, my stars, he's so stubborn. Surely he's mature enough to fly with me, but he simply refuses every time. That's strange, considering how much you've cared for him. It is. 
a little heartbreaking and mystifying. Other dragons don't have a similar reaction and are admirable. Even Azorus has truly opened up to me. You know, perhaps Nibbler would rather stay on the ground. Hmm? He's young, from what you told me about dragons. His mind is that of a human child. Perhaps he sees you with two legs and no wings and insists it's not safe for you to soaring through the, uh, the skies. Oh, you really think that? You would know better than I. However, lacking evidence to the contrary, isn't it nice to think that might be it? Dear Diana, you may have made my day. What's that? Surely you already know. Never once heard Donar's voice speak back to me, but I've heard my dragons in their own way. The comforts of our world are indeed more tangible than that which lies beyond our understanding. No need to hide from this realization. There's more. It's Azorus. He has actually begun to speak with me. He has started to call me Dragon Speaker. Come again? He's lived many, many of our lifetimes, and he knows our language. I think perhaps he knows all languages. But he won't speak a word to anyone else. He has told me of other dragon monarchs, Keltus the Red, Duros the Black, and Adoramitra the Gold, the mother of all dragons. In his own words... That which created them is not so different from the power of Nephilim. Go on. That's all for now. You can only think about that one thing. He keeps mentioning them as though they are family. It gives him great distress. Sister Abigail, Azurus may hold knowledge otherwise unavailable to us, perhaps even extinct from our world completely. He's still highly distrustful of humans. I need time to understand him better, dear Diana. Of course, Dunar be with you, Dragon Speaker. All right. Any more tech? Oh, we only have the one. Too bad. Uh, marketplace. Is there anything we can grab here? Maya. McLean. Catherine. Dorsa. Simon. And then, no. Nothing really. Um, trader. More iron, all the iron. Gems, obsidian. Th these are extremely nice. I think I will get it. Okay. Any organizing that we need to do? I'm going to put Sybil in with Abigail. That would be interesting, and we could have another squad. Um, but, doesn't look like anyone's leveled up at all. Oh, one person has. One that we can do. Lena can now become a Valkyrie. Done. Perfect. Okay. But with that, not a whole lot left. So, uh... Next time, we'll probably head on into the next chapter, chapter 24. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.